Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. I'm going to do a, a show. I got a request to do this fight. Um, I got a re request to do uh, a show today on Khalil Koi Ko versus uh, Gerardo Asuna. Now, I'm going to do it, and that's cool. But if you guys want to request I do a fight, join the Patreon. It's just $5 a month. I'll do any request you want. I'll break down any fight you want, anything at all. Uh, I'll do a scout report on a fighter. I'll, I'll handicap the fight. Let me know if I, <clears throat> you want to do it. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. You also get a free t-shirt. There's a ton of other perks. It's just five dollars a month. Join the Patreon. The link is in the description. All right, but we're going to get into uh, Khalil Cole, who I'm not a huge fan of, versus Osuna. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. I'll uh, show you how to consistently make money on the sport of boxing. Uh, we don't gamble, but if you do, uh, we use DraftKings here. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas because I, I, I don't gamble. Uh, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. We can bring down the house together. Together, There's always a bull market somewhere. Um Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. So this is on the Ben Dobson undercard. It's Khalil Co. He's a prospect, 7-0 run, light heavyweight. There's been talks of him going down to 68. Um, I don't know if that's possible. He's short for the Co. He's short for the... Uh, Weight class, he's only 5'10". That's not particularly tall for a light heavyweight. He's 7-0, one draw, five knockouts. He got a draw in just his second pro fight against Aaron Casper, which is a, a – you know, he, he, he turned pro a little later. And they moved him up quickly, um, and he fought Casper. And and Aaron Casper is a legitimate opponent, uh, 6'1", a veteran of 11 fights. He's 7-5 and 2 since. Um and Cole had to settle for a draw. He fought Tristan Calcruth recently. He's not a terrible fighter. Calcruth destroyed him, but, you know, he's not a terrible fighter. Um, there's not, look, Cole is, is a little bit elusive. He's not super busy. It's a lot of one at a time. He needs to throw more combos. He's got a good, stiff jab, but, again, it's mostly one at a time. When he does double it up, he has a lot of success with it. What I've noticed in his last fight is he's he's more stable on the front foot. He's not strictly a back foot fighter. He's, he's starting to establish his power and come forward. That's good because I think his power is decent. Like, you can't have those kind of knockouts that he has <clears throat> and say you don't have any power. So I think his power is fair to above average. I really do. Um, good timing on on, on, on his shots. He's, he Excellent timing. Like I said, he's quick, good athlete. He can land his shots. He can win rounds with his elusive, but he can also give them away, right? He's not throwing much, right? So if he's not landing, and he lands fairly accurately, but if he's not landing much, he's not busy. He can give rounds away. He can also make you miss, miss, and miss. So it's like, what do the judges, you know, it's going to depend on the judges. Like I said, he, he was early in his career, but predominantly a counter puncher. He's come on. He's, he's a little bit more aggressive now. He's much more confident off the front foot. But we want to see more combination punching. Like the combination punching, the lack thereof, is, is his is his downfall. He's a good athlete. He's quick. He can make you miss. He's a little short for the division. I'm not a huge prospect on the guy. I don't think his ceiling is super high. Um, but as far as Gerardo Asuna, I think I'm saying that right. Everything is in Spanish. I saw him on, on a, a couple of cards. Basic one-two guy. He's strong as an ox. Strong, strong as an ox. Mexican fighter. Uh, he should have good power, although he's fought nobody. His competition is awful. He's basic and slow. He's basic one-two. He'll mix in the left hook. Um, I'm not. I'm honestly not a fan of either of these guys as, as an elite prospect. Uh, you know, I think this is good matchmaking by, by Matchroom. This is not a guy I, I think... He's going to pose much of a threat, but he's 20 0, so his record looks good. And if he wins, like, you got yourself a steal. I'd love to know if they have an option on him, but he's not. I don't I don't see him winning. Um, he's, well, really, really poor competition. 
Uh, he'll shell up too if you can get him with volume. Which I mean, he's not really a uh, Coe's not really a volume puncher, but if you can, you'll get this guy to shell up, and he can give away rounds that way. He's not overly active either. It's mostly one, one, two. Once in a while, he'll mix in the jab. He's strong as an ox, and he's and he, he's a good body puncher. You know, like you would expect him to be. He's got decent feet. He moves well. Like you know, it, it looks like a really, really. Like, or sort of looks like a really rough draft. Like, okay, now bring him to my gym and give me three years to work with him. It's kind of like that's where he is. I don't know where, how far he ever gets. He's not hyper athletic, but he's strong. He's got decent feet. Um, you know, he's a body puncher. He's just not there. And I don't see a whole lot to love about him. So let's take a look at the odds. Um, I'm going to make this real simple for y'all because I, I don't know. Like, if Coe has fought both ways, he's fought coming and going. Coming and going. I don't know what he's going to do here. So I'm going to make this really simple for you. I'm not going to bet by stop, but I'm not going to bet the over. Under, Coe's going to win this fight. We're just going to clean up. And we're going to make very simple money on this. He's a minus 475, which isn't terrible. And we're going to make a two times bet on it. And that two times bet is going to make us $42. So $20 bet is going to make us $42. Again, it, it, it's tough to know if this is going to go over or under. I would bet the over, but I'm not confident on that. Um, I'd bet Co by uh, decision, although I'm not 100% comfortable on that. You could do this if you want. Make a half a bet on that. A half a bet there, um, it's going to cost you your winnings, basically, if Co loses. But you'll even out. Right, so if you take Co times two and and Co on a money line, Co on a money line times two and Co by decision, and he stops him. I actually may do this bet. You know, Co uh, on the money line will make you about fifty bucks. Co by decision is going to cost you fifty bucks, or it makes you a hundred dollars. Right, so if you're willing to. To, to, to hedge a little bit, you're willing to put a little extra in, you might do this. This is a $250 bet that can make you, you know, $200. You see, you're basically getting even odds that Co wins by decision. It's not terrible odds. Um, it's not a bad option. I think the safe bet is just take Co times two. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Shows you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, please subscribe to my Patreon. Like I said, you get a bunch of perks, and you can ask me to handicap any fight. Um, and also follow me, like I said, all forms. And also follow me at uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. It is February 2nd, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.